Hi, welcome to another episode of Sustainment TV. I'm your host, David McDonald. And before we get into today's video, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. It will help the channel grow and improve upon what I do. But without further delay, let's get right into today's video. Today's video, having a chance to do another fun movie review with my daughter, Kirsten. And we're gonna be talking to you about the sequel of Coming to America. Okay, so I um, I had a chance to watch this movie, you know, when it was first released on Prime, and I, I tell you, it um, there was much anticipation, but then when I saw it, it was kind of like, it was, it was a little bit of a letdown. It was kind of cool seeing the characters, you know, you know, it had most, not all, but most of the uh, characters came back, you know, Zamunda at its best, you know, instead of the king instead of Prince of Kings, um, you know, instead of his 21st birthday, it was Prince of Kings' wedding anniversary. You know, with his wife, and, you know, that was kind of cool. You know, it, um, you know, his dad was on his deathbed and whatnot, and um, you know, lo and behold, he doesn't have any sons. He has three daughters. You know, and that definitely, you know, gets addressed in terms of um, being able to uh, have a named heir to the throne. And um, one thing that kind of caught me off guard was when they had the the funeral ceremony of the memorial, and he was actually alive to be able to have someone of appreciation to you know, to be able to take part in some of it. So that was um, that that was that was unexpected. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, I haven't. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm surprised she had to think about it. No. <laughs> it seemed like some of the some of the jokes kind of fell flat. Some of the you know. A lot of the, a lot of the comedy was, 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 it wasn't organic. It was just kind of like, hey, here's the joke, you know, do I need to hold up an applause meter? <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, what'd you think about how the movie began? What are your thoughts? Well, first and foremost, I like the, the cast. Once again, you have the original cast, you know, Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall. Sherry Headley. Sherry Headley. And all that. And you had the expanded cast, you know, you had Tracy Morgan. You had some additional cameos like Michael Blackson. That's what I really appreciate the most. Mm -hmm. uh, I love my Michael Blackson. He's absolutely hilarious. Obviously, you had Wesley Snipes. Mm -hmm. I like the way he looked in the movie. And also, you had Morgan Freeman, which that was also really good. Like the the whole funeral uh, memorial scene had a lot of cameos, which I really appreciated. Mm -hmm. Also, like the way that it was like designed and like, set up and everything. Mm -hmm. um, also, I really liked how the costumes were designed in this movie. It was very colorful, mm -hmm. which made sense. You know, it had a had a little bit, a little, little modern twist on like you know the typical African um, clothes and or whatever. It was really, really, uh, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then something I didn't really appreciate. I mean, you kind of hinted on it in the beginning. Um, it was kind of very dry overall. It was long, but it was also like long and dry, which kind of didn't really make it as enjoyable mm -hmm. as I would want it to be. And also, like I feel like also it was very much anticlimactic because mm -hmm. I saw the trailer. I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? We're making a second one. I was like, I was like, about time that they're making the second one. Mm -hmm. And then I watched it. I was just like, okay, so what's the point? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I mean, in the movie itself, I feel like there was like two, like underlying like storylines because okay. okay. you know obviously you had prince akeem or excuse me king akeem had three daughters and she was gonna be the the heir i was like oh we're gonna have a twist you know it's gonna be a queen you know what i'm saying you no know, that's what they thought they were going and they said oh no no, no he has a son and i'm like <laughs> i felt like they were two like completely like separate like storylines going together okay. i felt like it was like conflicting mm -hmm. but like it wasn't, it wasn't, so like that kind of like dissonance per se kind of made the movie overall dry. And then like the way they resolved it, it was like <laughs> really weird. Cause I feel like it came back like more or less full circle. Like, you know, the, you know, his oldest daughter was gonna be the heir. And then King and King's, you know, illegitimate son kind of comes out of nowhere and she's like slight, she's like, okay. And then in the end she gets reinstated back into mm -hmm being the heir and he becomes like what the ambassador is wounded so i'm just like uh, right. it's like this it's like <laughs> you know you have this you know this family who's uh, revered respected and whatnot and you know in their society and then 
you have a son that present, you know, that's presented closer to the beginning of the movie, you know, that was definitely an accident. And so that, you know, I mean, it was a little disappointing how that presented itself. I mean, it, it made sense how he came into existence, you know, with their first adventure to America. But um, yeah, yeah, it's a little disappointing, but it, you know, it is what it is. And, um, you know, even though a king, you know, uh, a king's character, you know, he wanted to be a trailblazer. He wanted someone that, you know, had an opinion, all these other things. And yet he found himself gravitating towards his father's wishes, you know, and how things had been, you know, it has to be a man in power. The empowering moment at the end was the fact that, you know, my oldest daughter had been preparing for this all her life, but she was actually capable, you know, and, 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 and you know, that was good that he came to that realization. That he had a dynamic uh, character change, you know, in reference to that. I guess another thing for me that, you know, could have, you know, made its way different was the fact that Prince Jamal, he didn't have to, he really, he didn't have to work to, to find a bride. He ended up marrying one of his servants. He didn't have to do anything to get her, really. I mean, yeah, they had some conversations, but all she could see was him, you know, and, and you know, like I said, it took very little effort for him to win, you know, her heart. So, you know, that was, that was disappointing. The one thing that I did when I saw the second one, I was like, wow, I'm glad I actually saw the first one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, without seeing the first one, You'd be kind of lost watching the second one. At least mm -hmm. those those are my thoughts. I mean, how, how do you feel about that? I agree. Watching the first one, probably the second one, kind of gave me a, a more of an appreciative, like I, like feel for the first one. Mm -hmm. Not trying to bash on the second one, but I mean, this this is a review. You know, <laughs> let's remember that. Um, I feel like in regards to Prince, like Jamal and his servant thing, I feel like I feel like it was they were trying to fit a square peg into a round whole you yeah. know they were trying to know let's still have this whole like royalty type like storyline going on while mm -hmm. trying to fit in like you know the original feel of like you know the coming of age feel mm -hmm. from the first one into mm -hmm. the second one and right. it wasn't really once again like i said it was wasn't working and it was artificial yeah. i thought it was four so i was like <sighs> okay so that's how i really felt uh, overall second movie was a great idea it just was late I mean, I'm talking 10 to 15 years late. I mean, first movie was in 88, second movie was in, fin they finished filming in 2020, which is a full 32 years later. Mm -hmm. So great idea, just the, the, time, the timing was off. I know this is just a side note. I think they could have went a different direction with what exactly they presented in the movie. I mean, the king was a widower and Lisa's uh, dad was actually a widower too. I think it could have been kind of funny if the dads actually found love again, because as we all know, it's not uncommon for people in their 60s and 70s to date these days. So, I mean, I, I, I think they could have went that direction, you know, could have kept some of, some of the honor, if you will, you know, in terms of, of, of how we saw the, the royal family. But I mean, you know, overall, you know, the how they presented it wasn't bad i think i think it was just it's just poor timing i think also it was because it was like a movie was made in response to like fans like badgering you know how like some people like some movies are made because of like the fans are like we want the sequel we want mm -hmm. this we want we want it now you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i i felt like that's what the movie was mm, that's a good point because okay. you're saying like it was 32 years late yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. like um i feel like they did it just like a check off the box and then and this is not me trying to disrespect you know arsenio hall or like a i know a did a murphy write the write this script for it, it was definitely yeah it was his uh it was his idea yeah. yeah i mean he contributed to it but i feel like also like i mean this is coming from me obviously i'm not like an expert in film cinematography or anything <laughs> but i feel like that that's what the whole movie get like it gave me that kind of vibe if that makes sense so I was just like, so many, like you said, the whole different direction could have taken so many like twists and turns it could have had, but I feel like he didn't want it to be like, let it happen and then just like move on. So. Okay. Well, we hope you uh, enjoyed our review. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Would love to get any comments or suggestions you may have. Definitely um, hit, uh, hit them up in the uh, comments section. Thanks for taking the time to watch. 
We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.